What's up, heels and baby faces? Welcome to another episode of the Countdown City WrestleCast. I'm your host, JC. With me is Tommy. What's up, guys? And over here we got Mike. How's it going? A reminder to follow our Twitter account at CCG underscore WrestleCast and subscribe to the Countdown City Geeks YouTube channel for more WrestleCast episodes. Uh, today should be kind of a quick show. We're going to be recapping, let's see if I can say this right, NXT UK TakeOver Blackpool. Good job. Nailed it. And I tried saying that over the weekend and like messed it up three <laughs> times before I got it right. And then we're going to be discussing <laughs> the newly released Pro Wrestling Illustrated Year End Awards for 2018. PWI. PWI. We might have a little trivia game for these two guys, Uh-oh. too. Some uh, PWI Wrestling Award trivia. I'm so. going to be wrong. I yeah. usually am. It's okay. I, I used <laughs> we'll to see. actually get some of those magazines. I got two of the, the more day. knowledgeable wrestling fans that I know here, so we'll right. see how this so goes. So if they're awards from like 91 to 93, <laughs> I might be good at that. We'll see. Honestly, I don't really have quite. I'm just kind of making the questions up as we go. But oh, we great. Go. All right. So do you know the answers? <laughs> yeah, let's see. So, All if right. you're, so if you're wrong and you're, what you think is the answer, and I'm right, I'm going to call you I did research right it, but I'm just going to do like factoid things here. Okay. All right, here we go. So uh, we're going to start this off by recapping the show in the UK, the Blackpool show, which uh, was 1.30 in the afternoon for us, which is one of NXT UK takeover Blackpool. There you go. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this was actually a really good show. This crowd, you could tell, yeah, was starved for live fire, wrestling. Fire, dude. They <laughs> were awesome. They, they love the wrestling in the UK. Yeah, and do. uh, I don't know. Maybe one day we'll see a big pay-per-view there like we used to. Maybe a yeah. WrestleMania for all we know. I mean, if it's going to be Sunday at 1 in the afternoon, that'd be, that'd be awesome be awesome. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, I, wanna, I, wanna, I, I would actually go to the UK for one of those shows because that, that crowd was amazing. Yes. They're pretty awesome. Yeah. And uh, the chants and the English accent, I had to get used to that too. But yeah, that was cool. And, the, and like half their chants were songs. We are which about were, to be which was really by so a cat, cool. by the way. <laughs> the Great. saboteur is back. Stay away, not He is. <laughs> now the kickoff show. Um, after we recorded last week, uh, they did announce uh, Travis Banks versus uh, Jordan Devlin, and we made our picks for that. I posted them on our Twitter account. Unfortunately, in the kickoff show, Devlin attacked Banks backstage. And they did announce that the Banks was still medically cleared to wrestle. So figured, okay, Mike and I are starting to look good because we both picked Devlin. Well, like the Although dude's already injured. I yeah, mean. I mean, perfect, right? I uh, still believe in Banks. <laughs> so the main show started. <laughs> we had the crowning of the first ever NXT UK Tag Team Championship, which was the match of two of the greatest tag team names I've ever met. Which I have seen. I almost oh, couldn't get Mustache the Mustache Mountain versus the Grizzly. Okay, but correct me if I'm wrong. I don't remember them saying the Grizzly. They didn't. Right? We were cheated. They yeah, they just called that. it. Uh, uh, what are the two names? Uh, Gibson and uh, Gibson and Freak. What's the other guy's name? See, they're just the Grizzled Young Vets. Grizzled Young Vets, because you can't remember their name, right? <laughs> uh, but yeah, I was a little disappointed Gip, like that. Uh, James Drake and Zach Gibson. James, James Drake. Thank, thank you very much. So <laughs> I'm still calling the Grizzled Young Vets. I am too. I, yes. Yeah, I don't care. Now, Grizzled Young Vets. Uh, <laughs> Won an awesome match. Yeah, Mike and I got that right. Yes, and I'm not. I'm not, I'm not mad about getting this one wrong because it was such a great match. I wouldn't yeah. have been mad the other way either. It was. It was yeah. amazing. Um, Showcase both teams. Yeah, and, and everybody. And, and, and I also said this is the starting match. Holy crap! This is how I felt about Wrestle Kingdom when Osprey yeah. and Ibushi opened the yeah. show. It's like, why is this the opener? This everyone else. Damn. <laughs> the spot that stuck out for me was when Tyler Bates got both members of the Grizzly Young Vets on his back and doing an airplane spin. Jesus, that was that, dude. that strong. Tyler Bates is deceptively strong. Usually we always talk about how guys are deceptively fast with the bigger guys, but yeah. Tyler Bates is like looks like he's like pencil thin, but yeah, he picked up both those guys and <laughs> spun them around. I was like, this shouldn't be happening, but that dude is an insane athlete and I, I can only imagine he's in a couple years gonna be on the main roster just just hopefully a long time there. <laughs> airplane, doing air, airplane spinning Bra- Braun Strowman. Which Him I, and Cesaro need to. <laughs> Cesaro just needs to just go to NXT UK. Just like just say, you know what? Forget this. I'm gonna go <laughs> and and Sheamus for that matter. I'd be okay. With we're, that. we're just gonna go to the UK division <laughs> and just have fun there. <laughs> well, you have to wonder after what happened next, how much Euro talent's gonna go over for these kind of shows. Yeah. yeah. Because we were set up to have the Devlin Banks match that we talked about. Mm-hmm. Right? Uh, Banks did try to come out and get his revenge on Devlin pre-match. Devlin laid him out again. And then, of course, Banks couldn't continue. So uh, the powers that be in NXT UK said that they had a backup plan. And and the biggest pop of probably yes. any show this, I would say this year, but only in January. But, yeah, this year. So and far. rightfully so, Finn Balor showed up. And you know he wasn't going to miss a chance to, to have a pass up a live show on the network <laughs> in uh, the UK. So that was awesome. It was the Battle of the Irishmen. Yeah. Devlin and Finn. So Devlin um, kept calling himself the Irish Ace, and I was thinking, you, "You're brave, calling yourself that." <laughs> yeah. 
The best, you knew it had to happen. The best that. wrestler Ireland's ever produced. I was, and, and I, and the funny part was, I immediately did think your name's not Finn Balor. No, no. <laughs> See, but that was interesting though. Most of the time when this kind of stuff happens, you, the guy comes in, squashes it, and it's like, oh, yeah, you know, whatever. Yeah, no, they had a great match. They, they did. did. Balor they both had their offense and everything. Finn sold for him quite a bit. Like yeah. I was impressed. Yeah. Uh, how much he, he sold and, and let him look like he might have actually uh, had a chance to win. Now, the funny part about this is I, I completely forgot. I have seen very little footage of Devlin before. Like, I, I just forgot but because it, it had been that long ago. But before I saw he was decent. But tonight, I'm com- I'm a complete believer. And, like, he's got a bright future ahead of him. I can't wait to see what he does right. next. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. So, after that, we got our no DQ match. Dave Mastiff <laughs> against Eddie Dennis. Jesus. <laughs> We all picked Mastiff, all got it right. This match was just brutal. <laughs> oh, man. But probably the shortest one of the night, though, I think, if I'm not it, mistaken. I think yeah. so, but for what they did, thank God, because someone would have died. Yeah. You know, I got to say, as a big guy, I'm really disappointed <laughs> that I am not as athletic as, like, I mean, sure, you go back to Vader, but this this guy is doing, like, springboard. Yeah. Uh, what, what do you they, call it? The, the, the moonsault off the top trying yeah. to do that. Dave Mastiff I mean, has just, Dave Mastiff has Jay, Dave Mastiff, Jeff Cobb, uh, yep. you know, just, yeah, and like Brett McKenzie ridiculous. for for local te- for <laughs> local. Know. And like I said, scene. go yeah. go back to to Vader and Bam Bam Bigelow, but Jesus, just like I think Dave Mastiff has just ruined the whole mystique of bigger guys can't do this or can't do that. Well, no, he there didn't with ruin that it. excuse. <laughs> Cross CrossFit ruined it. He probably does CrossFit for all we know. <laughs> I mean, my God, he was crazy. It was, yeah, but that, that was impressive. The, yes. the match finish was just, and any other match would just be kind of like standard, a, a running, you know, cannonball to a guy on a table, which would have been standard if anyone else did it. <laughs> when when Mastiff does it, I was like, he legitimately killed him. That was <laughs> that was actual death. And yeah. the, what, what got me before was like the very, right before that was the German suplex he hit him with. It was like, he, and because like the funny part, he threw a German suplex, Mastiff stopped. Dennis kept going. I was like, ah, oh, damn. That's almost <laughs> kind of rude. It's like, I don't even have to complete my version of this German suplex. I'm going to send you flying anyway. <laughs> uh, that was a fun match. It was fun. It was, man. It was, I was fun like, to oh, watch. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm a Mastiff fan for sure now. Absolutely. <laughs> and that led into our NXT UK Women's Championship match. Uh, Rhea Ripley defending against Tony Storm. But all of us... Picking Ripley and getting it wrong is Tony Storm after a great match and two Storm Zeros. There was like this was a, Ray Ripley. This was amazing and like two rip. Yeah. I think no one rip tied. Uh, yeah, 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 she yeah, one one rip tied. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But one thing that made me cringe was Tony at one point hit a headbutt on Rhea. It was it was wasn't the one right before her second str- strong zero. It was like one right in the middle of the match, and like they connected so hard. I was trying. To, <laughs> I was convinced. I was like, ooh, that was real. I think someone missed something because that looked real. His headbutt just looked brutal, man. Yeah. So, <laughs> like, pow, I was like, ooh, jeez. Uh, it surprised me, but I'm not surprised. I mean, Tony Storm did win the Mayan Classic and it gets a little right. bit of revenge. But yeah. This is definitely not over for the two of them. No, and like they we said. Build nests up. Yeah, like while. we were saying last week, we, we all expected Tony Storm to have a big future and they just decided to, to pull the trigger now. Yeah. And, uh, you know, well deserved either way. Like, I, I'm not mad about not picking it right. I just thought. They were gonna to play it out a bit, but like you said, I, I think they'll have rematches, and uh, possibly you know. WrestleMania weekend. You yeah, yeah. that'd be nice. WrestleMania. Again, mm-hmm. maybe in a match with some stipulations or some sort of, you know, last woman standing, you know, whatever it may be, something like that. Yeah, I do thoroughly enjoy that we live in the time where we could say one of the hardest hitting matches on any show was the women's match, mm-hmm. because Rhea Ripley and Tony Storm are two who can have that kind of match and it's just cool to see that you know the powers that be are letting them go out there and do that because i mean when you let these two go they they can and will outshine the men and they nearly did this was this was almost my match of the night mm-hmm. but the main event i have to admit yeah. did take the cake for me <laughs> all right so this did go into the main event like you mentioned and yeah. when this was starting to come in i was like Man, they got a lot of time left. Yeah. Are they really going to use the full time? It's going to end up early, you know. Figure first time wouldn't be a crazy match. Pete Dunn defending against Joe Coffey. Tommy and I getting this one right after a marathon of a match with Pete Dunn winning. Um, Dude. Wow. Dude. This this one left me speechless because (laughs) it was just – I. It was insane. It was. It was. uh, So many false finishes, hard hitting. It was just nuts. And, uh, Wow. Co- coffee came out looking yeah. really yeah. coffee really coffee looked like, yeah coffee would look like a million dollars in this match uh kicked out of two bitter ends by the way too, yeah mm-hmm. before he finally went down to um, submission 
I, I, I looked online and I saw the final time for that match was 34 minutes, wow. over 34 minutes. And I, <laughs> and I, and I was just thinking, I was like, yeah, it, it should have been because they were trying to kill each other at some point. Mm -hmm. And the, and the, the finish was one of my favorites is because it was like, I mean, after all that punishment, yeah, bending back your index finger, right. or, or like unrelentedly. Yeah, I tap out too. It's like you know that what? Stuff makes me cringe every time he does it's, that. Yeah, match, man. It really I just like too. I was NXT UK have to turn away. <laughs> and for coffee, I was like, you know what? I'm with him. At that point, I've had a long day. Yeah. I'm done. I'll get I'm the done with this. I'm done with this. And we were even joking before the show about <laughs> it looks like they may have tried the the top rope spot twice and messed it up. But it even added to the match. Yeah. Because the first time coffee just goes to the ground. So that you know, on top of the whole match they've had. Then they kinda try it again and they just both crash and burn. You're like to me it just added to like these guys are putting it all out there, they're tired. It, um yeah. They looked just, they did look super yeah. exhausted. Yeah. It was one of those times where I think like the fatigue had legitimately set in and even even a even a botch, if that's what you want to call it in this case, the fa no one cared. It was like right. we got like because <laughs> before that we had thirty minutes of them not messing up, so if they slipped yeah. the top rope, they're still alive. Cool. We can the match can keep going. Yeah. Yep. Uh, oh, and then everyone voted on Twitter poll was match of the night. 56% and, said and match of the night. you know what they were ch uh, chanting during that match? I mean, they were chanting all night, but the uh, basically singing, are you watching are you Vince watching McMahon? Vince? Which he did oh, reply. Really? To, right. He did that reply. I, I, could, I couldn't quite tell what they were Actually, I probably couldn't tell what they were saying. I was too like, focused on how are these two guys still getting up. Because yeah. Well, yeah. And originally, <laughs> I couldn't tell either, but I started seeing stuff online. And, okay. And, and then someone, uh, a fan video came in, and you could hear it better. Oh, and nice, it was, nice. It was, you know, the English fans kind of have songs for everything. Yeah, they do. It was, uh, are you watching Vince McMahon, basically. Yeah. Nice. It's all that soccer they go to. I, so. I on, <laughs> Honestly, honestly, to, to tell you the truth, I, I, I know he'll have to at some point, but I would like Pete Dunne to not lose it, just come to the main roster, win the WWE or the Universal Championship, and just put both belts in his teeth. And just I was just going to pull that up. Be nuts. <laughs> Because I don't know why, but his whole thing where he does this is like my favorite, another uh, a new mm -hmm. favorite thing of mine in all of wrestling. When he does that, I was like, God, this guy's intense. Just I when you it. thought there were no new ways to hold the belt that yeah. people have done, <laughs> yeah, put in my teeth. And then the fact that this guy is like, like, it's like, it's like, he's like, he reminds me of, the, of a Richard Pryor joke. He's like punching himself in the jaw. Well, he don't care nothing about us. He's <laughs> kicking his own ass. <laughs> now he did. Um, uh, what was I going to say? Ah. Well, yes, he's awesome. Yes, yes, he's, he awesome. Yes, no. he's amazing. Um, Were you going to get to the pre-match stuff God, or post-match stuff? Post -match I mean, stuff? I lost my chance. I think I was going to get to this post-match. Yeah, with Walter coming out. Yeah, so. uh, that's the big. Uh, yeah, you know, just like a Marvel movie, you got to wait past the credits. Yeah, exactly. Because hey, I thought it was over. Seriously, because they had the the, the little uh, WWE copyright logo right. and everything. Because uh, I remember, because I remember, like, because I I had to catch the show later because I couldn't watch it. Like, I remember reading and I was like, uh, when did that happen? It's like, it like, it like, it like, it like, when does it happen? When does he come out? Then it came out. And Walter's music, is, by the way, is the best. It's, yes. It's, it's it suits him, his look. Yes. Uh, just, yes. I love how he's staring Pete Dunn down like Joe Coffey's like, wait a minute, what about me? And Walter's like, nope. <laughs> Joe, Joe Coffey's out of here. Joe Coffey trying to come back in. I was at the match too. Walter's like, get out of my ring. Yeah. I will break you, then break you. I could very easily see this match happening, not in NXT TakeOver, Brooklyn, or New York, or whatever it's going to be, but at WrestleMania. Thank you. Oh, I oh my so. God. It I'm is so the WWE glad WWE UK so you, I mean, WrestleMania is like seven hours now, so you've it got is. the time. <laughs> Exactly. Like it's WrestleMania from, is gonna be twelve from, hours one day. It's, it's just from noon until whenever they decide to go off the air. So. Yeah. I was I the second they faced off to each other, I was like, Can this please wait to WrestleMania? Please, can we have this match at WrestleMania? Yeah, no, because be first amazing. of all Walt, I love I love Walter's stance of like when he puts his hands behind his back and actually puts his chest up to look down at him. I was like, dude, you're like six inches taller than him already. What are you <laughs> looking down for? You can already look down on him. Of course, Pete Dunne has no fear. He just yeah. nope. put, put the belt trap back in his teeth and just it was just like bring it, dude. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that match so much. It's going to be great. Which some videos are circulating the TV tapings they did afterward, and Walter's chop was just echoed. Yeah. He f yeah. So yeah, seen already. We yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, so uh, a little bit of trivia. I like uh, Walter is a former PWG World Champion. He yep. actually unseated Keith Lee for that belt. Uh, oh, for, for, for Keith Lee. Um, but uh, I w th that's how I first learned about Walter was from uh, his debut at PWG, and I started looking for videos online, and. Uh, the guy can do it all. If you've never watched him, go go look him up. Look him up PWG from Progress from wherever all across the UK. He can chop you like you would not believe. It's like guys just like which is just quit the match there. But his drop kicks are also pretty lethal. 
course yeah. this is like a 300 pound Austrian man drop kicking. Right. I, I think it's going to hurt. So. I know I saw some people posting online some matches after that happened because, of course, the buzz started kicking in. And yeah. I know like he has a match with Devlin yeah. uh, from somewhere in there and a couple of those other guys on the UK show yeah, uh, as well. So, yeah. And they definitely knew who he was in that crowd, too. Yeah. So. Could, yeah. Well, what, I mean, because like I think I think for one reason, like the signing of Walter was so kind of shocking because he was just starting to make a name for himself and they picked right. him up that quickly. Yeah. But Honestly, it's a great business move because Walter was really getting getting steam all around. Am the I place. thinking of the wrong one, or is he? He's not still a champion somewhere. Else. He's still a champion in progress. I think he's the Atlas World. Champion. Oh, but they they're the ones that work with. They're the ones that work w with. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Because um, they the, work with a lot of indies over yeah, the, there. Yeah, the, so. the, the Atlas World, the Atlas Championship in progress is is above the weight limit. If like if you're like two fifty and above, I think, or two forty mm -hmm. and above, so it's a heavyweight belt literally. Gotcha. <laughs> so. Uh, now, in response to the chance that we were talking about, Vince McMahon did tweet, yes, I was watching. Yes, it was awesome. Yeah. So, Do you think he really tweeted that or was like, Shane, well, write me something out for <laughs> <laughs> I want. I want to think he at least watched the first show. I would hope so. Yeah, because, no, I'm sure. I would hope so. And, and I think. And I want to say kind of yes because I mean honestly, they got Johnny Saint to be general manager of. Yeah, I was going to mention of, that of, actually, of, that's... of of NXT UK. That's that's a big deal to me. Um, right. I'm a. I'm a. As as most can tell, I'm a fan of like classic wrestling. And Johnny Saint, you don't come more classic than that, really. And yep. uh, the fact that he's you know still around in the business i gotta think at some point vince had to meet him face to face in order to solidify that deal <laughs> right and i know he's he's a you know johnny saint is a huge name uh for english wrestling back in the day and yeah um, i mean i don't claim to be any kind of, of expert on it but i do know uh years ago listening to um william regal on the uh, mm -hmm. the cabana podcast he had a two-part and he talked a lot about uh, his influences coming up from English wrestling and, mm -hmm. and how big of a player Johnny Satan was in there. So I think that's pretty cool that they got him as the NXT UK yeah, uh, it, general it, manager. It was one of those – I have a lot of weird wrestling fanboy moments, and that was one of them <laughs> when they announced Johnny. I was like, Johnny Satan, yeah. I was like, he's not going to wrestle, but I'm so happy he's around. So, he's <laughs> so as far as our picks for the show, uh, Tommy and Mike went 2-2, two and two, and I went 3-1. Yes. and one. Crap. I mean, uh, yeah, I went out on a, I went out on a limb for the the championship match. Eh? So, hey, yeah. it was a good pick the way the match turned I, out. Yeah, look, you know, I, I, honestly, you know there was about ten times I thought I was going to get it actually, right. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> the whole time, the the because like I did try to avoid like uh, spoilers like right. the whole time for the show. So when I was watching, I was like, "Was Mike right? Is this because like yeah. I was like he did because I was like I, was like, I, like, I thought a few times I was like they're going to let me do it because <laughs> like Dunn nope. did pass the six hundred days and like yeah. and like six hundred and it's at what five or six now at this point. Uh, she's lost count. Because I, I think it was like six oh two. It was six oh three at the 603 show. Six oh three at the show. So and counting. Six, yeah, six oh five right now. Uh, May not lose it to WrestleMania for all we know. Yeah, so. and I, th I what I, I think the the giant the giant roadblock just kind of showed up. Yeah, the giant we'll three hundred pound Austrian roadblock yeah. just said, "Oh, hello, I like your title. Give it to me now." <laughs> well, now it's time for our WrestleCast ratings. These are from zero to five. Five being WrestleMania seventeen, zero being December to December. I give up. Tommy's favorite I, give up. I just give up trying to stop this. I give up. <laughs> so we, Tommy, we're gonna review that show one day. That's yes. gonna be a that's gonna be a show. Oh, okay, God. so okay, so that's gonna be a boring episode. Here, 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 here's my deal. If we review that, we all have to do it together. I refuse to do this by myself oh ever my again. God. I will not sit through that show by myself. Ever maybe again. maybe we should do a, a an audio podcast. That or like a live live, a live reaction. reaction. <laughs> <Yeah>. Just watch <laughs> it's a live reaction with beer because there's no way we're watching it without. That part is alcohol. I don't even drink, but I might that day. Yeah, <laughs> give you, a shot. you will know. Okay, so sorry. Tommy, what is your rating for this show? I'm gonna be I, to be perfectly honest. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a five because oh, right. better because, than Wrestle Kingdom basically is what you're saying. And 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 here's why. Okay, let, let me because this honestly this could have been their show to mess up. Mm -hmm. They could have had a lot of oh let's not stop kidding yourselves Vince McMahon meddling. A lot of dumb stuff could have happened, and they could have not let the UK style be the UK style. The UK slash European style of wrestling is a lot different from American wrestling. It's just a fact. It's like, you know, Japan's different. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they could have tried to, you know, American it up and just not let them go out there and do what they do. But you had a solid car from, from start to finish. You got people who maybe fans didn't know, especially like Mastiff and Eddie Dennis. You know, I knew who Mastiff was, but not so much about Eddie Dennis. I remember Jordan Devlin, like I said, once I saw him. But you, you had a show where you could have easily screwed it up. Easily have made mistakes. Easily have could let, not let these people do what they do best. They didn't. Some of the matches were shorter. Fine. You had a killer main event where Joe Coffey, a guy who had every, who had a lot of legitimate gripes, even like he was saying, you know, 
I got left out of the original UK tournament. I wasn't even there. And these guys, won. I would have won had I been there. And he proved that, yeah, he could have probably won that thing had he had been in that tournament. Probably. And, it's not uh, to say he won't be champion later on. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. I, I, oh, I think it's in his future, like, for sure. Because we forget that, that uh, it wasn't. Done. Who won the tournament to begin with? Yeah, well, that was Tyler Bate. Nope. We forget that because he's had the so freaking yeah, exactly. long. <laughs> but, that's, uh, but that's the sad part is that people don't remember who won. It's just like Dunn has had it so yeah. long. Yeah, and but he's the one that stood out from that tournament. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm giving it a five because uh, for all the things they got right, for all the people who got a chance to shine, this is a great start for NXT UK, and I just hope it's a trend that'll continue. So I'm looking forward to it. So I give it a five. All right, Mike. Um, I'm gonna go four point seven five. And I feel honestly, the personally, the only reason I wouldn't go here. five <laughs> um, is because I'm waiting for that one pay per view that I just I just want to be like, this is it. And and this was this was amazing though. And like, uh, you know, Tommy said a lot um, that I feel similar about. Like they they had a chance, especially with I think you know American fans not maybe being as familiar. Yeah, um, but I mean, most everyone probably just watched see Tony Storm beat like <laughs> Yeah, like I said, we didn't know some of these guys as well, but. They all impressed me, the men, the women, uh, everyone involved. Um, uh, a couple things on that tag team match I wanted to go back to. Um, Mustache Mountain wore tights, reminiscence of old school British Bulldogs. They, they mentioned did. that. That's on right. The show the black and the black and red. Uh, but then, of course, with their mustache logo on it. And honestly. That's a great logo. I love it. Yeah, no, that's, that's an amazing <laughs> so logo. so awesome. Um, and, and, but that tag team match also, like, I, it just makes me miss – tag team wrestling like that because you don't get as much unless it's Usos versus New Day 75 or, you know, throw bar in there. We, we just don't get that as True. often. And they have teams that can do that. But that, that match was, was fun. And they're two tag teams and, and they did tag team things that you look for in a tag team match. And yeah. It was just, yeah, great show. More Mustache Mountain and Grizzled Young Vets, please. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Well, they're the champs, so you're going to definitely get more. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I, I'm begging Grizzly to me. The, well, well, I mean, one match between them, and I'm, I'm already, I'm like Samoa Joe and AJ Styles. Yes, I, I would like another, please. Thank mm -hmm. you very much, sir. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm giving it a 4.5. I honestly, I really want to see the Banks Devlin match. The way they built that up. I yeah, mean, but you know, I, I think, I think, I think, I think we'll get that like pretty soon. My one, I guess, minor critique on it. But yeah, this was a great first show for them. Um, but there's nowhere to go but up from here. Yeah. So. Uh, I'm thankful everyone's like, okay, Vince didn't have his hand on it. Vince really doesn't have his hand on the NXT stuff. He lets that happen. He yeah. wants to see these guys shine. I, I think he like has like the final say, but I don't think he has much as far as like like what direction, like how it gets there. He's like, yep. yeah. So I'm good Everything with that. Everything seems to be he 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 lets Triple H really mm -hmm. take yeah. control for the most part. So. And I think that's one reason why I'm glad Johnny Saint is there because yeah. you know that's a guy with like tons and tons and like you know not saying Triple H doesn't know what he's doing, mm -hmm. but you know like I said. UK style and American style two different things and if you want a guy who knows the UK style you bring in Johnny Saint so. yeah. and even more so the British talent it's also yeah. showcased to British fans yeah they're hungry for wrestling they, they're they glad to be a part of this well, so. Europe too not just all British Europe too yeah. but I mean they're starting the UK there the yeah, way they're yeah. doing it so oh and Nigel McGuinness great. being there is, yeah. is great so. I wouldn't doubt if we see a WrestleMania so there in a few years in a couple of years are we getting NXT Mexico with Lucha Stars because I'm down with that I would be <laughs> fine with that actually you're, you're you're joking and I'd actually love that no, I, I mean I'm kind of joking but no that'd be awesome <laughs> be epic. NXT Japan at some point right that's exa man, that's I was exactly man. I was exactly thinking that right, yeah. as, like, right when they announced they were opening the performance center, I was like, "Is there going to be an NXT Japan? Is New Japan going to be like you mother?" Yeah. <laughs> now our overall rating uh, was uh, four point seven five based on all averages out here. So great yeah. show. Looking forward to the next one. Um, we did have a question though on our YouTube account, kind of off subject. Before we get into the PWI awards, uh, James Lee, kind of off topic, he asked, he was wondering uh, if any of us played WWE two K nineteen. I know you're always no, playing. No, I haven't played again. the new one. No. I, the do new play, one yet. I do. I have played the last couple of years, but I haven't gotten the 19 one yet. Which console did you, would you have it on? I can't uh, remember if you're Xbox or PS4. 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 Yeah. I don't know if you played it. Or no, not. I don't. I, I don't have. I don't have it yet either. Uh, uh, money's been a little funny, especially with you know looking for engagement rings and everything. So <laughs> counts like priorities. Well, just got engaged, <laughs> getting married this year. So yes. Yeah. So uh, I, I haven't played it yet either. Um, I'm one of the people who has to like kind of like, wait till the price goes down. Like, oh, cool, <laughs> sale, and then I get it. But uh, gaming so on a budget. But yeah. yeah. So uh, that's why I don't have the new Spider-Man game. Damn it. And I want that oh, so yeah. bad. That, that, that <laughs> one's actually pretty good. Trust yeah. me, if anyone does get a WWE game, we'll uh, we'll be sure to let you know what the gamer tags are if you're looking to play for play us online, James. So yeah, keep in touch there. So, so, I, so, I, so I can lose a lot. But if I, you're looking <laughs> for a history, we've played for years. Oh yeah, 
I still, I still, I still like go back of my old, any of my old like PS2 memory cards. I see like old created characters because like so one thing my me and my brother would do is like if he would come over, we would like stay up to like two in the morning just making like the most random, ridiculous characters and give them like the weirdest. So were the just, names like Blaze or Storm or yeah, anything? they're yeah. like 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 he had a guy he 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 had a guy he would create every game. But just differently, he would call him Nightmare Cyrus, and like re- he would he would put different stuff on him. Whatever was like okay, so whatever like really random and obscure for to put on a creative character in the game or whatever weird stance or finisher, he would find it and use it. So, yeah, <laughs> this just reminds me. JC knows these. So there's two things, and I don't remember what year it was. Maybe about 2009, 2010. Okay. One year I made basically the character from Desperado. El mariachi. Oh, mariachi, yes. He had <laughs> yes. he had the black pants, the the jacket, the vest, the hair, and he had a they had the pop up, R, uh, diamond cutter <laughs> RKO. Yes. So that was the tequila shot. It was perfect. <laughs> it was perfect. <laughs> and then amazing. It, it was a great. It was the, that is the favorite, my most favorite character I've ever created. <laughs> and after that, I would get the next year. They took out some of the stuff, and it was just I could never recreate it that way. No. And I could not remember what year that was. Um, another one is the funny thing favorites, was as a younger yeah. when I was younger, I would always make my wrestlers uh, like smaller, kind of more athletic guys. Mm-hmm. And then one year I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna make a big guy. And so I basically made like not Big Boss Man, but if you ever saw him in NWA, is Big Bubba Rogers. Yes. <laughs> with with the uh, suspenders, I basically made a character like that. Those, yep. those were two of the, my favorites. I remember all those. <laughs> I would, fun. I in would 64 always, days. I would always make a really really weak character, or, like the most basic gimmick, because I was like, cause I was like, we were practicing on the game, because I didn't know how <laughs> I didn't know how the game worked yet. I would like lower all of his stats to like damn near zero. It's just like okay, this control. Does you're this, you're making this jobbers control. basically. Yeah. That's yeah. What you're doing. Yeah. 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 yeah I was like, this does this, this does this, and this does this. So I was like, all right, cool. All right. <laughs> From video games, we're going into the Pro Wrestling Illustrated 2018 Year End Awards. And what's the difference? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just going to discuss these real quick and then play a little uh, trivia game with you guys. Crap. Right. Yeah. So uh, these awards come out every year, and unlike the uh, PWI 500 or the PWI Women's 100, this is all voted on by the PWI readers. These go yeah. back date back to 1972, actually. So... Mm-hmm. Uh, first, we're starting with uh, Rookie of the Year, and winner, lo and behold, was number one of the PWI Women's 100, and that's Ronda Rousey. And I can't say anything wrong with that, actually. Uh, no yeah, I mean, I'm trying me. to think of anybody else who would be in the running for for Rookie of the Year at this point, um, what they would consider, but yep. you can't go wrong with her. She honestly, really has honestly, this is, this is just like Kurt Angle's rookie year when he went from you know being an Olympic star to being a you know pro wrestler. It's like it's it's really really like that. You know, she's. She's really into the sport, but picked it up like just naturally. She yeah. had, she's you know she's still green, but she's not. Yeah, more and near, there's always she's nowhere near as terrible. Learn. That's the right. Yeah. Though, so. she's nowhere near as terrible as she probably would be otherwise. And, and so. I gotta say, for someone being thrown into a main event picture like she has, we've seen people in the past who they try to throw into main events and it just didn't no. work, and they didn't last very long. But, but nope. you know she's doing well. Yeah. yeah. Uh, inspirational wrestler of the year, Roman Reigns. I think we all understand why. Uh, yeah. Some interesting things, though, we had uh, the first runner up for that was Cody. Uh, yeah. More so, uh, obviously, just from putting the all in show together, I think, and winning the NWA title on that show. Yeah. Uh, number The second runner up was Tommy Dreamer. Pretty and the fun. third runner up was Lufisto. And I didn't know this about her. I actually learned this listening to the PWI podcast where they announced these awards. Um, <laughs> she was diagnosed with cervical cancer in February. Oh, I didn't know that either. Yeah. And then she came back, was cleared of it in May, and we're back, back into wrestling. So I was. I very inspirational story for her. Did, so. I, I remember because I remember that she did stop, but I never, I never really got from hearing from anyone why she stopped for so long. Yeah, she kept That's it quiet. I was going to say, did she announce it when it She no, announced it like on Instagram or, t- or on social but media after? somewhere. On, in February, she announced it. Oh, I think she'd okay. been dealing with it for a while. And then in May, she announced that she was cleared. Um, she had to follow up in six months. We haven't heard anything beyond that. So yeah. mm. sounds like she's doing well. Pretty damn inspirational. Very awesome to see that you're recovering. So um, it always sucks when that kind of stuff happens. Like, like, and, like yeah. Like that. Now, most improved, I think we can all agree, was the Velveteen Dream. Velveteen yes. Dream's rise doesn't make any sense. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't. I'm, I'm like, <laughs> what? His, his rise doesn't make any sense. Why? It's like Because he's so damn good. It makes you sick. It's only like three oh. years in. Yeah. <laughs> And it's like it's like the 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 takeover match he had with Alistair Black was ridiculous. So I was like, three years? Are you kidding me? Say my name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he was getting so good, the you freaking crowd was just chanting, "Say his name," you know. Hopefully, um, he's on the main roster by the end of this year. Maybe. maybe. We'll see. I, mean, yeah. I mean, he he's yeah. asked. 
Yeah, <laughs> many times. Last some tights. guys pick up the technical side quicker. Some guys pick up the character. Like he's got both. Yeah, like he's yeah. just and his I think character that, is amazing. And I and, and I he can go in a match. And I think that you know I think I can. It's, it's, like, it's always funny to try to tell who who, who is buying into their own hype. And I think he does not because he's such a hard worker in the ring. You know, he's willing to take the bumps and everything, but he's still, when it comes back, he's the Velveteen Dream. It's it's like, you know, eh, I may have lost. I'm still a dream. Exactly. <laughs> I love that. Now, comeback of the year was Daniel Bryan. Did Absolutely. I understand I mean, that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, first runner-up was Drew McIntyre. That's fair. Yes. Yeah. I have coming had, up in had, it, had it not been for Daniel Bryan, that would have been my And, and yes. you know, it's interesting <laughs> with some of these, these, these different topics and these different categories. Like, you see people and the runners-up you're naming, and like, it's for different reasons too. I mean, Daniel yeah. Bryan coming back from you know being out of wrestling, an amazing story. Finally got to wrestle, and then Drew McIntyre for basically reinventing his career on the indies, yeah, and coming back and now pretty much made. I, we haven't even watched Raw. He, big he may be in a title match at Royal Rumble. We don't know. Yeah, so, yeah. As of recording, we have we yeah. kind of missed the end of Raw. So yeah, yeah but yeah. Uh, feud right, of the year. And don't lie, a lot of you did too. So. <laughs> <laughs> feud of the year, no surprise here. Johnny Gargano versus Tommaso Ciampa. Yes. I'm, as I'm much like, as wow. I do, like, like, and as much as I do love, like, you know, like everyone knows my New Japan Ring of Honor love. I really can't think of a feud that was as bitter and like hate fueled as this one. I mean, this had everything. It and, did. And it, it really did. Ciampa, as great as he is, still got the fans to hate. And him. you know what was so interesting about this one mm-hmm. is the the baby face. Really, like in this feud, he hurt himself more sometimes. Yeah. Than than the heel did, and that's interesting because yeah. usually you, you think with this, like the baby face will eventually overcome. Yeah. And it didn't work out like that. It was it was really great. And the story that He's they still have, and then eventually yeah. it becomes evil. So, the, story, yeah. the story they still have going is really really good. It's yeah. like you know, it's like will they tag team again or you know and everything like that. It's really evil cool. DIY. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> I, and I hope if they reform, it's they literally call called that up. evil <laughs> DIY. <laughs> Because that's a shirt I'm in. Earth for. Two DIY. Yes. <laughs> uh, most popular wrestler of the year for the second year in a row was AJ Styles. Deserves I mean, it. No surprise there. God, just imagine if that guy was in WWE. Uh, the though. runners up were <laughs> Seth Rollins, Becky Lynch, and Ronda Rousey. Most hated. This one's definitely no surprise. I can let Tommy announce this one. Most hated. Brock Lesnar. <laughs> Wait. Do you have to have a certain number of matches in the year to be uh, this guy? Anyway. I mean, you have to have some number of matches. Yeah, the, first round or like was, a time limit, like you have to wrestle. Wait, wait, wait! You have, start, you have to have a number of matches in your life to be considered <laughs> best. Award. First runner-up is Tommaso Ciampa, and he's probably pissed off that he lost this award. Just be honest here. Look, and see, again, here yeah. we go with and actually two different names in a category for completely different reasons, right? Yeah. Lesnar actually, because he never shows up and yeah. retired of his, and Ciampa because his character is it's so, so amazing. Yeah. Second runner-up was Joe because well, story time was Samoa <laughs> Joe, and then third was Baron Corbin. And you know what? And I, again, yes. You know again, what I'm mad about? Great voting people these are some awesome ones and you know what I'm, mad? I'm more mad that Chompa didn't get it for the exact <laughs> reason you said damn it Brock Brock loves to ruin like, everything like pretty soon we're gonna have to like subdivide these categories like yes most hated because you're tired of them yes. most, most hated because his character is his character yeah keep it simple PW I don't confuse this, well see right? here's the problem though if you get most hated because of legitimate reasons like you actually hate them until this year Vince Russo would have just been continuous <laughs> had to be a wrestler he Ever. wrestled one time and he was WCW champion wasn't he so now, was David Arquette. Now, from something that pisses Tommy off, something that'll make him happy. Match of the year, Okada versus Omega. Uh, June 9th at Dominion Osaka Joe Hall was the two out of three falls. Mm-hmm. No time limit match for the IWGP Heavyweight Championship. Uh, 65 freaking minutes. Jesus yes, Christ. 65 minute match. <laughs> Second year in a row, these two guys have won match of the year. Pretty amazing. So, yeah. of course, the first one was for Wrestle Kingdom in the previous year. So, yeah, it's, 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 it's because these two, when they give them, ring, it's so good they break the rating system. Yes. <laughs> yeah, didn't Meltzer have to go like six or seven stars? He went for that six one? for Wrestle Kingdom. He went seven okay, for this yeah, one. He like he just broke Meltzer's scale dude, at this point. They man. broke it's Meltzer's just, mind. What are you talking? About? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that would be like, where do we go beyond uh, December to dismember? We can't go worse than that. We can't go any worse than that. Oh, exactly. Well, we oh, hope. Well, we. I, I was just gonna say, like, oh, oh God, I hope, I hope we can't go worse. I hope, I hope we've learned from that. I hope I hope I hope every wrestling promotion ever learns. You yep. can't go worse than that. And if you try, why do you hate yourself? Wow. It's it's what was that? Uh, it's they had they also add in that what was that women's match? Jackie Gata versus Trish or something? Oh jeez, let's not talk about that show <laughs> right now. <laughs> That's how you talk about the good stuff. Yeah, All right, worse match than that. But anyway, go ahead. Tag <laughs> team of the year: the Young Bucks for the second year in a row. Not I mean, really, sh- not really shocked there. Yep. 
Uh, um, first runner-up, New Day. Second runner-up, The Undisputed Era. And third runner-up was LAX. I, I okay. got to remember it's fan voting. Yeah, It's fan voting, yes. Because, I mean, you know, to me, Bucks, Usos, New Day, Bar could have all been there. Uh, I'm sure Undisputed Era would have been my vote. Nothing against the Young Bucks, but the Undisputed Era really took over NXT. But well, then again, the Young Bucks did run all in. There's arguments so many ways. And, and yeah, I there, think there the are. Thing, that's, 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 the tone, yeah. that's the thing about this. There's I so think many the thing that might have hurt an Undisputed Era is the way... Red, it was Red Dragon, and then uh, Fish yeah. got hurt, mm-hmm. and uh, Roger Strong came in. Came in, and they still, yeah. they still stayed strong. No pun yeah. intended, but I don't know if that had anything to do with it. Although I, people I'll, hate the industry. Although I, I'll say this coming year, Grizzly Young Vets and Mustache Mountain, they come, they, they come, the Grizzly Young Vets. <laughs> Based on names alone, they come for that title. Yep. <laughs> No books are probably like, oh, crap. Those names are amazing. Oh, JC, there's a typo on the <laughs> Well, not, well, yeah. It, it's officially the woman of the year, but, but as the man, the of, man the of the year, there Becky Lynch, who, by the way, is the first woman to stand alone on the cover of the PWI Year End Awards magazine. Nice. So she's on the cover of the magazine for this issue. It's the first time that it's ever been just a woman by herself. There's so many people I want so, Becky Lynch to have a match with now because yeah. just because of her new attitude. Like, yeah. like uh, I, I remember Tony Storm saying in an interview she loves to face Becky, and I was like, yes, I want Rhea Ripley to face her. And frankly, I want her to have her matches with Seth Rollins and John Cena. Let's just <laughs> let's just stop Could playing. The, let's Could stop eventually. playing these games. We Stone want Cold. this. I want Becky for Stone Cold. Be honest with you. And if and Stone Cold come out of retirement for one match, this is it. <laughs> yeah. And you know, you got to remember how how this built up in the year. It wasn't like she just turned that one time. She started going on a winning streak in on on SmackDown for a while, yep. and and the the fans were really getting behind her, and you know she won the first women's title, uh, SmackDown title, and then kind of got lost in the shuffle. Yeah, and so you know the, the the fans did a good job of getting behind her, building it up to to, and then she ran with it, and mm-hmm. the man came out. And yeah, yep. I think the when she tried. To, to like turn completely heel, she yelled at the fans, "Were you guys behind me?" And they all said yes. yes. I was like, well, "I was like, well, there with that attempt. Uh, I guess she's a, I guess she's just a Stone Cold type of heel yeah. now." Sometimes <laughs> WWE, well <laughs> I, yeah, like, well, yeah. I was gonna say, sometimes WWE just needs to let, yeah, the fans' reaction be like, okay, you know, and what? That, you gotta why, be a little reactive. And, and I think that's why they're just letting her steer right into that curve. Is like <laughs> now she's like, you know, she's not not insulting the fans like the fans yeah. are with her and everything so yeah. and they might as well i mean hell they they, they support her like that what's yeah, wrong exactly. with that uh first runner up was ronda rousey <laughs> second runner up oscar and third was tessa blanchard tessa hmm. did have a Interesting. great year yeah. so. i think oscar probably would have won it had it not been for becky lynch's like meteoric rise <laughs> yep. yeah. uh rest of the year third time in a row aj styles thank freaking god yep first runner up kenny yeah. omega second runner up cody and third runner up seth rollins well wow, that's cool that cody got second runner up because mm-hmm. i know a lot of a lot of online kind of smarky people I see complaining that he's not on the level of some of those guys, but I, I lo- hate I, the, I hate those people. I know, I really I know. Do. just enjoy the show. But what he does, I mean, what he's he's brought, it's, it's been pretty awesome. I'm laughing. I just thought of something. I remember because I think I told you guys like last time we were talking about Russell Kingdom how Okada was trying not to be a good wrestler. I think this, yeah. I think the reason he was of oh, this year was like Okada wasn't good. He was trying not to be. He has to work. <laughs> he has to work harder to not be a good wrestler than most guys do to be a good. Wrestler. Yeah. <laughs> And the final award, uh, the most prestigious award, this is the Lifetime Achievement Award, is the Stanley Weston Award, uh, named after the founder of PWI Magazine, who mm-hmm. passed away in 2002. Uh, it was Antonio Inoki. The uh, fact that what he did, did he say, Japanese? About, about say, the fact that he ha- didn't already have it kind of shocked right. me, but hey, but, <laughs> yeah, you know, whatever. Right. <laughs> For those who don't know, he was inducted to the WWE Hall of Fame in 2010. Yes. Uh, he founded New Japan Pro Wrestling in 1972. Mm-hmm. And he's definitely famous for, I would say, Kind of the precursor to MMA, he had a bout with Muhammad Ali mm-hmm. in Japan in 1976. And he also wrestled two shows in North Korea against Ric Flair in 1995. Mm-hmm. These shows drew over 150,000 people each. Yep. Mm-hmm. Pretty story. I mean, pretty awesome. I mean, obviously, if you have footage of that, that'd be great. Yeah. But I don't, <laughs> I don't know if don't, anybody has any footage of I don't North know if Korea anyone does because yeah, I, so. I, I, I'm, I'm always on the list, uh, like, kind of on the hunt for it, but I never find any. Yeah. I'll have to look and see if I can find it. Tommy, I don't want to get too far off, but, or maybe you even remember, JC. Hmm. Do you remember what year it was that Flair faced uh, the Dragon Fujinami, lost the belt technically, but they didn't count it? Do you remember oh, that? Oh, God. man. I do. Uh, no, oh, we'll look it up for next door. If anybody knows, uh, Ric Flair, I think, in, went to Japan, lost the belt. But they didn't, yeah, but they didn't count Tatsumi it. Tatsumi the Dragon yeah, Fujinami. Yeah. But, yeah, WCW, NWA didn't count it official. Flair came back with the belt. Anybody remember? Yeah. Just put in the yeah. Yeah. If, if you get the correct answer, let us know for yeah, 500 but. awesome points. You can't cash those in for anything. That's just what we're going with. <laughs> now. Oh, boy. This. <laughs> it's 
the voices in your head. Yes. They we're going to do they, a little trivia with you guys. They counsel me. They understand. They do. I don't know how we're going to do this, how the points. This is really just for fun, so let's have a blast Isn't this where here. the points don't matter? And this really is where the points don't matter, matter, but it's not whose line is it anyway. So. Damn. I love who's that. Who's on yeah. first? Yeah. Who's on first? So, it's a little trivia for some of these awards. Uh, these have been, like I said, <laughs> dates back to 1972, but let's see how well you guys know these awards. So, right. starting with International Wrestler of the Year. You guys are kind of working together on this. Okay. Uh, the this is the record for, I'm sorry, <laughs> inspirational rest of the year. Okay. Excuse me. Okay. Excuse me. There's a blooper. International Man of Mystery. Yes. That's the powers. <laughs> exactly. uh, inspirational rest of the year. The record for winning this award is a two time winner, but there are five people that have won this award. Inspirational? Inspirational wrestler. Who is John Cena? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, is this Jeopardy? (laughs) Where is John Cena? I got a better question. Why Why is John John Cena? Cena? (laughs) I could help. I'm sorry. Yeah, that was, I love that. That was good. That was so good. Five? Yeah, there's five. So see if you guys can name them. You can work together on this one. Uh, So, okay, seriously, is Cena one? No, Cena's not one. Okay. Okay. That actually Um, actually was was a good guess. Um, I'll say Daniel Bryan maybe one. No. No? No. Inspirational Inspirational. Yeah. Yeah. Dating all the way back to 76? 70, 72 was the first time. What about yeah. Magnum TA? No. Wow. Two time winner. Uh, Inspirational wrestler. Sting? No. Damn. Ric Flair? No. It's Damn. <laughs> when is Flair inspirational? I don't know. Someone loves him. <laughs> Hulk Hogan? Hulk Hogan's one of them. Okay. okay. Oh, <laughs> yes. Randy Savage? No. Okay. All right. Hulk Hogan. There we go. That was one of them. So. The other four were Hold Bob. Oh, go, go ahead. Oh, Bob. Bob. <laughs> Bob Backlund. Okay. Oh, okay. That makes Jerry sense. Lawler. Really? <laughs> Bailey. Oh, okay. Really? Really? And Eddie Guerrero. I hate wow. myself. I legitimately hate myself. Isn't that crazy? I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I haven't kept up with PWI in the last couple of years, so the Bailey one really. I, yeah, I didn't realize she's won it twice. The fact that I didn't get Eddie Guerrero just hurts my heart. I'm a failure. I it's, it's like one of the years inspirational because like. What WWE did to her after she was so amazing in NXT, and then like <laughs> she stayed wrestling after they did all that dumb stuff with Alexa Bliss. I no know. offense there, but there was some bad story writing in that. And that that do, that doesn't fall on Alexa Bliss. That falls no, on yeah, the, no, on no, the no, freaking no. writers. Like the yeah, that whole yeah. kendo stick. I can't use it. Like, uh, anyways, yeah, I didn't know this. They could have run somewhere with that story. And they they could have. So. Anyway, uh, now a little <laughs> trivia here on the comeback of the year. This has been won three times by two different wrestlers. Three times by two different wrestlers. Who are they? Comeback of the year. Yep. Eddie Guerrero. <laughs> no. <laughs> you got. You got to think of somebody who has made comebacks. I mean, he, he's, Terry Funk. Terry Funk's not one of them. Wow. Surprising. This guy's pretty old school. He's been in a few companies. Uh. Ric Flair. No. Damn. I think you were about to say the other one. Though. Sting. Sting is one of them. Okay. And uh, the other one. This one might be tough. Okay, does it go back? Can, can you kind of give us a hint? He's pretty recent. I will say that he is on the main roster. Oh, wait, right wait. Now. Is it Jeff Hardy? Jeff Hardy. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. The most recent time was when he was tagging with his brother Matt. So, <laughs> well, yeah. I kind of figured it had to be. Uh, well, Sting was kind of a guess. Jeff Hardy, I figured it had to be other one because of many times as everyone thought Jeff's career is dead and in see, the water. <laughs> I'm just thinking of like guys who may have tried to come back from big injuries or stuff like that. And, mm-hmm. It's just like we see you again. We love you, Jeff Hardy. Well, I just think, I just figured it had to be Jeff Hardy because number of times we thought Jeff was going to kill himself and he didn't. Thank God. So. <laughs> yep. Yes. All right. So now feud of the year. A oh, couple geez. trivia questions oh, here. Geez. So there are two feuds that won this award twice. See if you can think of them. One should be pretty obvious because that pretty much defined the Attitude Era. Okay, Rock I think and I know. Stone Cold. Rock, n- no. Rock and uh, oh, wait, Stone Cold and Mystic Man. Stone Cold and Mystic Man was okay. one. Now the other one, you got to think really. Sting and Flair. Sting, nope, not Sting and Flair. I was, I was literally gonna say that. Uh, Flair and Steamboat. No. Flair and Harley Race. No. Okay, okay so honestly, that's like, that's who's like had a you... better feud with Flair <laughs> than Sting? Lex that... Luger. Come on. You're hey, this kid... is fan voting. This is you what are kidding there. me. I'm not kidding you. This is. The I fans voted. Th- yeah. What's wrong with you, 80s slash 90s <laughs> wrestling fans? First of all, if anything involves WCW NWA and the answer is not Sting or Ric Flair, <laughs> it's wrong. Okay, seriously, those two 
literally wrestled the last Nitro match because they were WCW. Basically, Mike is saying if you voted for Flair versus Luger, this is what he has to say. Yes. All right, that's what he has to say to you. Honestly, right. I'm with him on that. And twice? All right. Really? Let's move on from that. Now, Feud of the Year. Wrong. <laughs> there have been four wrestlers involved with feuds. I'm sorry, four time, three, four time lots winners. Lots of wrestlers involved. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> three four time winners that were in the Feud of the Year award. Okay. Wait, wait. Okay, so, three. so there's been Feud of the Year, multiple feuds out there. Yeah. Okay, so three times. So, there's been three wrestlers there's, that have been voted in this category. For four, four different feuds. Four different feuds. Three wrestlers four times. for four different feuds in this category. Okay, in this I category, gotcha, gotcha. yeah. So, Ric Flair? Ric Flair's one of them. <laughs> That's an obvious one that at this point. Okay, Stone Cold? Lex Luger? No. <laughs> <laughs> No, <laughs> definitely no on that Legit- one. <laughs> Legitimately, that was the funniest answer, though. <laughs> okay. Flair's right. There's two more. Who would you think? Um, Sting? Be? Sting, no. Stone Cold? Stone Cold, no. But not Stone Cold. Because he, he didn't have uh, Shawn uh, Michaels? The Undertaker? No. Who was Stone Cold's big feud in the 90s? Oh, The Rock? No. Oh, uh, in the 90s. Um, <laughs> I was about to say, if you say The Rock, I just answered that and you told me no. Uh, Vince McMahon? Vince McMahon. Vince? Really? Wait, for Vince? what? I mean, he's part of like uh, the corporate ministry. I mean, there's there's different ways he was involved. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, okay. oh, okay. oh yeah, I see what you mean. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so now, along that line, is the last person might come as a surprise to you. So Jerry you Lawler, like, not Lawler. Jer- Chris Jericho. <laughs> no I'm kidding. Uh, Bailey. No. <laughs> <laughs> um. Hulk Hogan. So no. Recent oh. WCW WWE. Very recent. Uh, this is an easy hint. The Authority. Uh, Triple, Triple H. H. Triple H, yeah. Exactly. Okay. Like, I guess between, like, okay. Between, like, he's been around for so long. Yeah, figure, true. You know. Yeah, just because. I know, you made the same face you did when he was winning the titles over and over again back then, <laughs> yeah. you know, in the 2000s. Okay. So, all right. This, this is why you shouldn't me like when Booker T- for things. This is me like when Booker T should have beat him at Westminster. We got mad too. at them for putting Ronda number one. I get mad at the fans for voting. I actually shit. wasn't mad. I actually wasn't mad number at one that. Yeah, one. okay. Well, some people were, but yeah. I was surprised, but I was like, yeah. I wasn't really mad. Well, actually, right. yeah, I wasn't really surprised. Most popular wrestler of the year. Uh, two wrestlers have won this four times. Hulk Hogan. No. What? Yes. <laughs> Who surprised. is voting on this? Two wrestlers have won it four, four times? times. Yes. John Cena. John Cena's won. Stone Cold. No. What? Nope. Uh, uh, the Rock. Hardy? Take old school WCW. Sting, Rick Sting, F- Sting? Okay. Sting, okay, Sting and John Cena, I, I, but which is surprising to me. All those years, the Hulk Hogan was big. Sting was probably just as yeah, big as WCW, and the fans were voting for him. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure. I was like, yeah, yeah. those those Sting, you, know you know readers. Them, what are you doing? You know with them yourselves? Southern fans know how to how to rig the vote. Scout. PWI readers, what are you doing? What, what, now, what, what's going on? Most hated. Only one person has won this award five times. That's the Vince record. McMahon. No. <laughs> Jerry Lawler. Oh, <laughs> no. Five Terry times. Funk? Surprisingly, Brock Lesnar has only won it once, and that was this year. But uh, that's this... because uh, you, oh, uh, you know what? That's because he's not there to win it the other time. Okay. <laughs> Bruiser Brody. <laughs> First person to give me the correct answer doesn't win anything, but just gets a point. Ric Flair. No. So recent old school. Recent and old, well, I guess semi old school. Triple H. Triple H. Triple H. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> said it first, but yeah. All right, match of the year, and I did uh, test my wife on this, and she didn't get it, and I was surprised because I, it was seemed pretty obvious to me. Okay. So, one wrestler has won has been a part of match of the year eleven times. Shawn Michaels. Shawn, boom, he got it. So yeah, that was that. Uh, was either gonna be hit, I figured either him or AJ Styles were like my only two real picks there. Yeah, so eleven times. Eleven Jesus times. Christ! Were they all at WrestleMania? Mr. Rus- I, I'm probably sure most. Well, two <laughs> of them were back to back WrestleMania. Yeah. Yeah. Wrestle, uh, WrestleMania uh, twenty five and twenty six. Yep. Exactly. Yep. So yeah, just it's Michaels. It's freaking Shawn Michaels, greatest yeah. ever, right? See, the only thing the only thing I would have said not AJ because. I don't think the fans give him as much credit for some of his That's early true. TNA. Yeah, 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 no, yeah. which is sad. Yeah, but, no, you know, it is. But yeah, yeah. freaking now uh, quote tag unquote, team of the fans. year. As we mentioned, tag team of the year, Young Bucks have won two years in a row. One tag team has won it four years in a row. Road Warriors LOD. Road Warriors LOD. Very good. Good one. Got my good. Skin the good I told you those. Those. Yeah. I, yeah. yeah. The, the only the only the other name that came to my mind was the Hardy Boys. Yeah. No. And and so, but Road Warriors LOD that makes sense. A couple of trivia here on the women of the year. There is only one four-time winner. That's the record. Who is it? Trish Stratus. Yes, that's right. I think you mispronounced Lita. No. 
<laughs> Are you kidding? Me? Now, My also, it's not Trish Stratus, but there's only one woman that has all. There's only one person that has won this award three consecutive years. Okay, hold on. It's not not Trish, Trish Stratus. Not one Trish other woman has well, won what, it three, three consecutive, consecutive years. years. Yes. Hold on. Wow, we really give this a lot of thought. Yeah. Um oh, This will make you happy. Uh, Gail Kim? Medusa? No. Not Medusa? Not Medusa. Okay. Uh, Bull Nakano? Mm -mm. That was a really Not good that guess. Not that old. Not that was a really old. good guess, Not though. That old. Okay. Fairly recent. Um, fairly recent. Okay. I know it's not Alexa Bliss, so don't even try. Oscar. It's not Alexa Bliss. Oscar? Bliss. Not Oscar. Sasha Banks. No. Paige? I'll give you guys each one more guess. Uh, I had a name just then. I lost it. Is it, it your other favorite? Is no, it Charlotte? Right? Not Charlotte. No. Okay. One other guess. Y'all are going to kick you, yourselves you, if you, you don't you, get you, this. You, you, got, you got the last guess. How much time do I get? <laughs> Three, four, hold, five, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Four. Three, two. I'm, I'm gonna be mad. I already know. <laughs> yeah. I, I, AJ Lee. Oh, three years in a row. She's that, the only that, one okay. to win that three years in a row. That does make sense. That, and that, let's be honest. If she has kept on wrestling, she could have kept on. Yeah, running, that's so. true. She probably would have surpassed Trish's record. Now, but my, my, my girl won. So. See you, punk. See you, punk. <laughs> Final question for you guys: Wrestler <laughs> of the Year. Only one person has won this six times. Who is it? AJ Styles. No. Ric Flair. Ric Flair. Wow. That was Ric Flair. Finally. <laughs> well, I figured AJ had won it three years in a row. So yeah, he was well on his He's way. He's won three years, but I, I think that's <laughs> yeah. like the if, only, he does, if he does the thing is thing, AJ's only won the three years in a row. Those are the only three times yeah, he won that okay. award. That's, so what was, that's what was crazy wondering. stuff, right? That's because that's because PW. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be nice. And <laughs> and you know, for what it's worth, kind of like what hey, I said. Hey, you know earlier, what? If you don't agree with the awards, subscribe to Pro Wrestling Illustrated, then you two can vote. Yes. So. But you know, there is something to the platform that WWE provides. There is. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, it just it's it's a bigger feel because of, of what it is but how are those awards going to change now that we have all elite wrestling impacts making a comeback ring of honor's huge uh new japan's bigger now new, Jap I mean, new japan is is expanding because Brock Lesnar is still going to be the most hated. <laughs> <laughs> he better be so go to ufc and still be the most hated right so, <laughs> oh god he's going to go to all elite that's our little awards for this year uh you can check out you Peter bite your tongue wow. with that evil sir I how to move dare past you that, but he heard it god dang it <laughs> <laughs> Check out pwi-online.com for more information. Uh, you can buy this issue, subscribe to their magazine, and check out the awards. They do also have digital issues as well. You can pull up on your mobile device as well. Yeah. So, um, Before we get out of here for this week, uh, we do want to send our best wishes and our prayers to Massive, mm -hmm. who is a local wrestler here in yeah. the uh, Texas area. Um, he is known around here as the world's largest cruiserweight. <laughs> and yeah. by God, if he can recover and fight through what he is fighting through, I would love to see him in the cruiserweight classic where it comes back on 205 Live. <laughs> uh, Massive, we've known for a while. He's He's yeah. been an independent yeah. guy. He's from El Paso. Um, we hadn't seen him for so many years, and uh, he gave me a call not too long ago when he was getting back into wrestling, messaging me, hey, do you know some place to live like in the Austin area? We chatted for a while about what he had been going through. Uh, he came back on the scene, wrestled, and um, he made an awesome comeback. Um, yeah, he did. Winning titles, BOW, Inspire Pro. Mm -hmm. He was everywhere. Then he got hurt, fought his way back. And after wrestling this weekend, I'm not sure all the details, but he's been in the hospital and it's not looking too good. So, yeah. um, Massive, uh, his first name, I'm not going to reveal his last name. His first name is Sal. Um, we are thinking of you. We are praying for you. We love you. Uh, we're hoping you pull through. We know you can. You're a fighter. You keep fighting, man. We're, we're in yeah. your corner. So we'd love to see you back in the ring. Uh, the world's largest cruiserweight. Uh, as big as you are, yes, you'll still tip the scales at 205. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just a little bit. <laughs> yeah. So uh, this guy, if, you, if you're if you not familiar with him, if you're watching this from other parts of the country, just think of a guy like we mentioned earlier, uh, Mastiff. Mastiff, Jeff right, Cobb. Right Only this guy wrestles Lucha because that's what he was trained. Um, he's... Uh, he, God, he's he knew Eddie Guerrero. He trained a lot under him. Yeah. So, um, can, and for same with self promotion, check out Branded Outlaw Wrestling DVDs where I'm doing commentary. Can yeah, I also <laughs> tell a quick favorite memory now that that just sure. popped up ahead? Okay, so do you remember ACW downtown San Antonio at the um, venue? At the venue, yes, and they had the venue, the, the upstairs where people would sit. Yes. yes. Okay, so uh, I guess I can mention the wrestling name because we don't have to mention his real name, Barry Breeze. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yes. So. At that time, way back in what, 2009, 2000, whatever it was, yeah. mm -hmm. um, 
was this was at the time, so years ago, was dating someone I happen to know. They would come sit in the top section at the show. Massive does like a splash on Barry Breeze and then looks up at them <laughs> and was like, this one's for you. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm cracking up because I know the people involved. <laughs> I'm sorry, we're banging on the table, making noise, the but funny, that's hilarious. The funny that's part massive, is, I was, I was just about yeah. to say that that entirely sounds like something massive would oh my gosh. And, and will do. You know, it, you know. Hopefully, he'll come back soon because he's gonna keep doing stuff like that. He yeah. knows who who to attack is exactly the right people. I think he scouts some of those in the crowd first. Like, okay, yes. they're dating that person. They're dating that person. He, cool. I mean, some he, of them just know how to have fun with yeah. the crowd like that. <laughs> yes, is, he does, and he, he's very good at that with the crowd too. Yeah. So, so it's, yeah, get better, brother. Yes, get better. We could talk crap about football, especially when my Titans and your Steelers play each other again. But man, <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, he's a huge Steelers fan. So, oh, uh, God. And he's a Yankees fan, so he gave me crap about the Astros a <laughs> few years ago. <laughs> so, uh, but, man, uh, we want to see you back up on your feet and in the ring, man. We're definitely pulling for you. Uh, Absolutely. Please, please let us know how you're doing as soon as you can. So uh, um, yeah. we're thinking of you. Uh, that is our show for the week. Our Twitter account again, at CCG underscore WrestleCast. And you can subscribe to Countdown City Geeks YouTube channel. And definitely with our Twitter account, send us your predictions, your comments, your thoughts on what we're going to be talking about next week, which is NXT TakeOver Phoenix and the WWE Royal Rumble, which uh, I guess could be considered the, the new year it's for the wrestling Rumble year. Time. It's Rumble time. This is kind of where everything resets for the year. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You know what that also means? What? It's pointing to the WrestleMania side yes. season. Yes. There or, are a or, few, or, or, whichever or, where it is. Know, that, my that, Christmas tree was over there. I had an ornament on there. We, so. we need to find that picture from WrestleMania 32 years. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'll probably put it up here next week. Um, we'll great. talk a little bit. We're definitely going to talk about our thoughts on the shows, who we think is going to win, and also talk about some of the party games you can play when you have your Royal Rumble <laughs> party. So not just drinking games. Point at the sign. Drink. Money game. But uh, I will. Yes, money game. Every, so, every person who goes out underneath the bottom rope so they don't get eliminated. Drink. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> to prep for this, if you uh, are having a party, try and get yourself a little bingo thing, roller kind of thing. We'll explain that next week, what kind of fun game you can play with it. So yeah. that is our show for the week. Over here, we got Tommy. Thanks, guys. Over here, we got Mike. Thanks. And I'm JC. And as always, heels and baby faces, remember, pro wrestling is real. People are fake. We out.